This is KSL News at 6. Following two years of waiting, Utah Catholics have a new leader as Bishop Oscar Solis is officially installed. The installation took place during a mass at Salt Lake's Cathedral of the Madeline this afternoon. Great day. KSL has team coverage of today's service. New specialist Sam Penrod spoke with community leaders in attendance there. But we begin with religion specialist Carol Makita on what this means for the diocese. Carol? Mike, Bishop Solis hopes to be a leader for all people of his diverse diocese, many cultures and traditions. He knows that he's been entrusted with great responsibilities and believes he will need to exercise humility and faith. With an enthusiastic welcome, Oscar Solis took the bishop's seat and officially became the new leader of the Diocese of Salt Lake City. The installation mass was steeped in tradition and rich in symbolism. But this first Filipino-American bishop greeted his people in several languages and spoke of religious freedom and immigrants. As the scripture tells us, through hospitality to strangers, some have unknowingly entertained angels. In our one-on-one -on -one interview, he expressed to me that wonder that so many of us feel when we first experience the beautiful Wasatch Mountains. And so the snow cap, the white, you know, yes. snow white, yes. and I said, God is awesome. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> Take a picture of me under the snow, and the trees are also covered with the snow already, and the ground is a little bit wet, and I said, this is my home. The Cathedral of the Madeline was filled to capacity with hundreds of Catholic faithful and guests. After a wait of nearly two years, this was very much a celebration. It's great to have a, a very strong leader who just seems to be so, uh, so personable and so into the people and so forth. So we're really looking forward to meeting him. It's like a really big opportunity us to be here. So, yeah. yeah. Members of the Catholic Vietnamese congregation came in traditional dress to greet the new bishop. It's really special for our new bishop coming. We're so excited to see him and welcome him. He likewise is anxious to meet them. The richness of the cultures and traditions of all who now live in this great diocese and the splendor of the nature in Utah that only a loving God can create. One of the lovely traditions in the installation mass is the opportunity for members of this, this diocese and civic leaders and uh, leaders of other religious organizations uh, to be able to literally greet, shake hands with and greet the new bishop. And uh, he looks forward, he says, to being able to greet them uh, in yeah. their own places of worship. Our whole too. community looks forward to getting to know him better. I was impressed yesterday. He was saying, uh, asking for the graces of God to help him be more humble. And he just seems like a very humble man. He really is. I think he was quite surprised by this appointment from Pope Francis. And it has taken a great deal of personal strength and a lot of prayer, he said, for him to be able to do what he did today. But uh, I think there's excitement there too. Wonderful day. Thank you, Carol.